right guys, well the excitement levels are pretty high. We're at um, Paradise Beach Lodge for men in Mozambique. We're at about 18, 19 hours drive north of Durban. And uh, we just got to a place called PlayStation. A very good friend of mine, Marcus, said you have to come to this place. So it's close, closing towards the end of our trip and I've just left behind with this amazing point. We're not far off the, um, off the shore and the structure is phenomenal. Dean's ringing up the popper, we're going to pop first. See if we can uh, raise a GT or some of those big cooter which have been smashing the, the poppers. And then we're going to go on to light jigs and, and drop, drop shot. But yeah, so excited. <laughs> right, lloydie has gone with a, with a big stick bait. I think I'm going to go do the open face or cup face popper. That's what makes all the disbursement as you pull it through the water. The water flows through there and it pushes out and makes a noise and it pushes the spray out. And that's what the fish sees. It actually irritates them. And they come up, can come up and have a look who's playing in their, in their zone, especially the GTs. So let's see if we can irritate one into grabbing this thing. Well guys, we, uh, we popped a little bit, had one little swirl on the popper, maybe a bluefin or something like that, and nothing else got a bit quiet, so what we're doing is we're going to put a couple of drop shots, bucktails, etc. down. There we go, it's taken us a while to come right here, the fish is just slow. It actually feels like a reef of some sort, excuse me, there it is. At least it's a good sign, it's not exactly what we're looking for, but finally fish are starting to feed maybe. Very slow. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful looking fish. There's purple spots there. They generally are smaller. I know they do get bigger, but generally when you do catch them, they're quite small. Right, it back. There we go, that was last down here. We battled a bit, Lloyd got a little on his tail. And that's, uh, that's not what we're looking for, so I think we're gonna up lines and head off to Zambia. All right, well, as you guys saw, PlayStation was quite quiet, so we've done the uh, 23 kilometer drive from PlayStation to Zambia Reef. We've just arrived now. Something that I've actually really wanted to do for a long time is uh, put a whole chocker out. We've got an um, AK Marine chocker. I'm gonna rig it up like with a cooter trace, two trebles and a single hook through, through the, the nose of it. I've just put a slight little weight, um, sink away just to balance it to stop it from spinning. Obviously those wings, generally when the water it goes in the water, they cool out, they go out a bit. So that's going to be your bottom, the wings are on the side, and they're going to flip up. Put one treble on the top, one on the bottom. No duster, keep it as natural as possible and let's see if we can get a fish. <laughs> that's a wahoo, tap, tap off the drag, let him go. Yes, Lee! <laughs> so, as soon as I started screaming off, I tapped off the, the drag a bit. Because when they're going at that pace, and those chompers, they can bite you off quite easy. Wahoo well, would make me hell of a happy, yeah. I haven't caught one yet. The last thing with this sea, sea cat, this Yamaha boat, it's a center, center console, which is lovely for fishing like this. Just walk around. Not as big as the other ones. Nice to meet Hey! That's a good fish there, eh? That table will be wasted anyway. Sometimes you've had it. Hold it. Huh? Yeah, I'll get it back. Alright, we're just gonna chuck him back. Lloyd, well done, boy. You know what? I want to tell you that your plan worked and it was good. You sat this morning, you made last night you made that chocker trace just for the chocker and you said you want to try it. And we, and we started talking to us and you said we never caught a fish on a trip chocker and what happened? You got him. Well done, boy. Good work. Good You're good up work. next. Good work. There we go. Got a little sand mackerel out there. Sand mackerel is, um, is quite, a, quite a popular local bait, so the fish know what they are. And we've caught a cute on one already, so let's uh, put that out. That right there is a tasty morsel. I'll just go on one treble. Number seven wide between, actually number eight wide between the hooks. Number six in the front. You know, just gonna have to hope it doesn't break. <laughs> oh no! Oi! 
He came off. His hooks just came out on a huge wahoo here. He just smoked that thing. My heart. Came away. Joking. No man. Ah. Uh -uh. Ah. Here we go. One dead. We're hoping it's not the wrong flavour, although it could be. Uh, it's pizza. A Got him out. Days, days, uh, days now cinch. It's done. So let's uh, have a look at this guy. He's quite tired, and he is hooked in the in the gill. We're going to see if we can revive him. Uh, in fact, look at the the treble even broke off. Right there we go, guys. There's a 16 kilo plus coot. Um, and uh, yeah, this guy doesn't make it unfortunately. So we're going to keep him. A bit of food back at the lodge. Uh, we've dropped Lloyd off with his mask. He's going to have a little look at what's happening underneath here. And then Tim and I are going to carry on fishing. So uh, we'll put this one in the hatch and hopefully show you some more action. <laughs>